Hello, good morning. The message that's coming through so far, it's beautiful singing bowl. I hope that you enjoyed that sound. But the message that's coming through so far, there seems to be something going on here where somebody is trying to move your focus away from really where it should be. I feel like there are people who want you to focus. It has something to do with an X. That may be your ex, or they just they want you to focus on something. X marks the spot where your spirit wants you to stay in your center place and really be focusing on the light. Is the like Ian Sof? Okay, so we'll see where the tarot cards want to take us in just one second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Citadel Oracle, and we've got the twins. Hello, my little twin. The twins, the puppeteer, hmm, the runaway in the reverse, okay, you may be returning to a situation and it's really important, or at least it's important from spirit's perspective that you be focused on, on the light, on the light that shines from above in the, in spiritual terms, the champion in the reverse, achievement and downfall. Q, you're going to say hello. We've also got here the hunter, hmm. Sure-footed and predestination comes out in the reverse. There's definitely a noose. It's like the hangman's noose, noose, Pisces energy. There's also, is that an antler? Yeah, deer skull and some acorns. And the arrows, and the arrows are making an X behind this deer skull. So. Ivy, you've been involved in a really, really hard, hard, difficult situation. I feel like there's some kind of a, to be honest, it feels like there was some kind of a beating in the past, and I feel like you were beaten in one way or another. That could be in physical terms. I feel like for most of you, this was a an ego beating or spiritual beating. You received some sort of thrashing in the past, and at the current moment, they want to do it again. They're like, ah, we're going to get you. We're going to get you, viewer. And I feel like they actually view you as a champion because they beat you, but you weren't beaten. They beat you, they thrashed you, but you weren't thrashed. It's a really cool sort of um, victory kind of a deal. The storyteller in the reverse, viewpoints and control. Somebody is trying to man manipulate the story. Catalyst, radical changes and taking control. This is you. Uh, this is what is required of you at this time, and I feel like there's somebody's really doing their darndest. There's the walker. At the bottom of the deck, the unknown, a journey. Did this not come out yesterday? And the captain taking command and teamwork with that Libra balance energy. There's the runaway and the botanist, parenthood and legacy. Um, I Yeah, I feel like this is something that you are returning to some kind of a... It's probably very important for you in, in your perspective um, and very likely important in like physical terms on this 3D planet. Um, Somebody wants to come back. They want you to convince you that they've got a right, the right of it. I feel like you know that they don't. And there's like this X, right? They're, they're playing with the, the story. They're manipulating information in order to make you feel that you have to focus on the X, whereas you should not be focusing on the X. And you know this. You have to focus it's like knowing, you know where you've been, what you've been through, what you've learned from all of those experiences. And that's the place for you to focus. It's the emerald in your heart. Um, and when I said the emerald, isn't that the emerald stone? There's that, um, the, the movie with what, like Kathleen Turner, Michael Douglas, and the Emperor's New Groove wanted to come through there. Um, and I'm not sure where the Emperor's New Groove New Groove takes place, but it may take place in Colombia. It's probably Latin America somewhere. Um, I think Colombia is very well known for emeralds. So definitely, you know, the name Raphael coming forward, coming through. And dear. Yes, dear, you are my dear. Okay, let's see what the tarot wants to show. Two of feathers, decisions, direction. I think that's a salamander, the lizard. 
And then we've got the Ace of Acorns, Creative Force, Confidence, the Ram, Aries Energy. Mm -hmm. Very cool. The Ace of Pentacles. And the two, did I tell you, the, the feathers, I do believe the feathers are swords. So two of swords, ace of pentacles, three of acorns, three of pentacles, foresight and exploration. Good. A really healthy development is at work here. And let's see. We've got, perfect. Oh, five more. So overall card for the reading, the ace of feathers, ace of swords. This is a time of new beginnings. And it's going to be developing very beautifully. I do believe that this is talking about making some sort of radical change, taking control and moving forward in a particular direction. And these creatures, um, they're like not anything, but I keep wanting to see them as something. So they're like shadows. I thought maybe that's a crab or a scorpion. It's not. It's just like a little design. Oh, no, it is. It's a bumblebee. They're bees. They're bees. I thought that they were like nothing. And that brings in yesterday's reading, the bumblebee, the sun. You, po by placing your focus, <laughs> by placing your focus in the proper direction, you're really accomplishing something massive here. And there's something there about my hair. Like putting your focus on your hair today is not where it belongs. <clears throat> it's really not that important what your hair is doing, even though your costume does matter. Oh, Halloween coming through, perhaps. All right, so let's see. We've got here the the Traveler, the Fool. It's the Neo fight. It's Neo energy, and Neo is a godlike character. And somebody pointed out that the woman's name is Trinity. That's the 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 Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit. It's the um, the Trinity. Okay, so we've got the Traveler, Libra energy, justice in the reverse is where we do not want to put our attention today. Uh-huh. That's it says truth and clarity. It's coming out in the reverse. I do believe that there's been a lie and you've very very likely been treated unfairly. <clears throat> I feel like things have been really out of whack for you and it has a lot to do with the way you've been treated with the way you were perceived at some point in the past. And I feel like you are somebody who Right now, you're getting ready to start out on some brand new journey, take a new step with all of these aces and the fool coming out here. Um, you're taking the new journey, but the fool comes out in the reverse. So it's I, I feel like it comes out in the reverse because you're being very, very cautious. You're not a fool. You've been through a lot, and you're not just going to jump face first into a dark hole. Taylor Swift coming through when she dives into the stage. Um yeah, you're not going to be diving face first, face first into those holes anymore. I mean, that could touch on Taylor Swift. But there's something about your life also where it's like you ran into that wall enough times. You're not going to run into that wall one more time. You have been treated very unfairly. And I do feel that this injustice, the in unfairness, the injustice that you've experienced has given you pause. Um, <laughs> it's pause. P-A-W-S. Do you have pause? Or P-A-U-S. She's got pause. But the, you, you've learned how to take your time, slow down, don't move forward, don't be in such a big rush or a big hurry. Um, and there was one more card that wants to come out, the Six of Acorns, Six of Pentacles, Free Gifts, Loveliness. And there's that spider with the Nine of Crystals, the Nine of Pentacles coming out. I actually feel like this is a really helpful entity for you. Arachne, Arachnids, right? And the Five of Shells, Hope and readjustment. It's the five of cups coming out in the reverse. There's been some real disappointment with this process. And I feel like you, it's like the, the disappointment is fully justified. It's not that you had your expectations out of place or out of whack. You've been treated, I, you've been treated like shit and you didn't deserve that. And I feel like it's, this is an energy coming through of like everybody knows you've been treated like shit and you didn't deserve it. And they see you now as somebody who is very, very cautious because of the way you were treated in the past. And rightly so. You should be cautious. This is a, a very smart way for you to proceed forward. I also feel like you... Um, there's all of these fairy tales that want to come true. True? True? Um, you want to come true? Blackbird singing in the dead of night. 
Take this and learn to fly all your life. You are always waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird. Into the heart of the heart. You might want to go listen to that song. The song will probably come across your path in the next 24 to 48 hours. This is These are swallows, I believe, and the swallows do portend rain. I believe that the swallows come out when there's a high probability of rain, so maybe that comes through. But there's something about the birds, and there's the swallows, and there's a blackbird, and then there was the story about the woman put a pie on her windowsill and the blackbirds came and eat it. I mean, ate the pie, and then she cooks a black. She she cooks a pie, and she puts the birds in the pie, doesn't she? Uh, it's like this is time for you to cook the pie and put the birds in the pie because the the birds ate your pie, and that's maybe not a very clear metaphor. Um, it, there there's a lot coming through here, and even like without even clarifying, with all of the injustice, the unfairness, the mistreatment, people um, picking on you, talking about you in ways that they knew were incorrect, they knew that was unfair, it's really, really wrong. Uh, it didn't hurt you, it made you stronger, and it made you smarter, and it just made you um, hit pause when you're like, I, you know, I'm not gonna go forward right now, hit pause, hit the pause button. Maybe you're going to hit the pause button. There is some, some very, very deep disappointment, and I do feel like that a lot of this, it's likely that you've come through depression, that you probably, you may have been maintaining previously a really, really wrong idea about yourself, and it's almost as though some, some blackbird wanted you to have that wrong opinion about yourself. Um, I feel like they see you. And they saw you, always have seen you as somebody who's really, really special, somebody like a Neo. Um, I feel like this is the way the world is perceiving you right now in this full energy. He who knows, he knows nothing, knows everything. And that also goes for she. All right, let's see. There's a star on this spider. And the crystals, the crystal cave in your heart. So maybe you guys are going to be meditating for today. I'm going to spread these cards out now that the queue has given me some, some more space on the table. Sorry, Moose. And the, the giraffe coming out here. Yeah, you're, you're a visionary. Um, somebody is approaching. They're not going to back down. They're going to double down. They're going to try once again to do what they probably successfully did before and it's not going to happen uh, in some way shape or form you are in a web you're in a web and whoever's dealing with you they may think that you are a fly you're, you're just some kind of a creature it's not really nothing but if you step back and take another look it's actually a bumblebee and they think that you're some kind of a bug that will be easy to trap in their web. You're not a bug. You are an antlered force. Um, you have everything that you need to take care of yourself. In addition, you are protected. And it's almost, it's really cool with the spider coming through because I'm getting these, the imagery of like multiple different spider webs. You are in a web that spirit created for you. There are, uh, there are people who are trying to create a web. Oh, the tangled web we weave when at first we seek to deceive. Somebody's been trying to deceive you for a long time, and it, it, it sort of worked at first. It doesn't work now. All right, so let's see what I need to know, please, about this spread. The Eight of Swords, the Empress, Taurus energy, the Three of Swords in the reverse, the Emperor in the reverse. For some of you, there was a breakup. You are healing or will very, very soon like put the final touches on that healing and your person's coming in. It's the next step for you. Many of you may feel that you are alone or you have always been alone. Um, that you're not, that who you attract is a little bit toxic or unhealthy for you. 
I feel like that's definitely not the case right now. I feel like your person, in the case that you are single, they're actually, very likely they've recently gone through a breakup. They were with the wrong person, obviously. If they weren't with you, they were with the wrong person. That was never going to work out, and it didn't work out. And now your person does seem to be quite brokenhearted. They would like to bring things back together with you. And I feel like you are, it's like you're open to it but you're not going to be deceived, you're not going to be hurt, you're not going to be treated unfairly. And that is absolutely the way for you to bring in the partner who is your match, who is your balance. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Page of Wands. So it's, like, it's possible this reading may help you to realize that your person is headed back to you or there's some kind of a message today that you will receive um, that's going to let you know that your, your person is heading back to you. And um, there's a truth coming in. It's gonna, you're gonna go to work using some kind of a truth and I feel like you're excited about something. This could, I may have just have moved on to the next subject. Sorry, no warning. Um, but there is, it, there, there's a lot of excitement coming in with the Page of Wands. Um, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. This is allowing something to start up again. You're gonna get to work on something. Um, to, let's straighten this out once and for all. Let's get this straight once and for all. Whoever you're dealing with is so sorry that they screwed up, but they are not going to back off. They're going to double down. They realize they screwed up, and they also like know that the only way to move forward is to just keep screwing up. It's giving off the examples like an Elon Musk. I don't know. Did he make some stupid decision? It was really obviously a stupid decision, but he's like, well, I'm going to keep doing that anyway because I can't give in now. If I admit that I was wrong, then I'm definitely, I don't know, going to jail, getting in trouble, going to get thrashed, whipped lashed and um, and someone is definitely learning how to work with the injustice to le work with the unfairness it's a little bit you know it's sad but sometimes this world that we live in you do have to be a little bit you got to be strategic and manipulative um, at times I hate saying it but it's the truth when people if somebody's being strategic and manipulative with you they're trying to be a dirty fox you don't play fair with a dirty fox, or at least don't don't allow your integrity to take you down, a la John Stark from the Game of Thrones. Uh, recognize that you're dealing with somebody who has no integrity. They're, they're not interested in integrity. They're interested in getting what they want, and this is something that you need to deal with. You need to ha accept that as a fact of this situation. It's unfair. It's unjust. Somebody's completely out of control. There's a masculine entity that is... You don't, this is really an energy, like you don't want to be anywhere near this energy. Um, it's going to burn its own self down and it's not going to, there's something that's burning out of control. This is a metaphor, but it could also actually be real. There may be a forest fire out there, but something's burning out of control. And then somebody gets one of those, what, a billow and goes, hoot, hoot, hoot. They're just going to keep on blowing on the fire and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until they wipe their own selves out. For some of you, you're dealing with a judge or a lawyer who's corrupt as all get out, a corrupt official, a corrupt government official, a corrupt politician, somebody who knows what they're doing is wrong. They know it and they're going to do it anyway because they they like have some special permission. They have some power in the legal system, the criminal system, the justice system. Hey, if you live in Arizona, you really, really need to vote and you need to read those propositions because we've got a lot of them on our ballot. They are making money by putting people in prison. That's the most... I can't, like, I probably can't explain it to you in the depth that I see it at this moment because I haven't done the proper research and I'm the, I'm the kind of person that really needs to understand something like to the umpteenth detail before I can really share it out. But I do just want to point out that the people of Arizona do seem to be trying to make money off of putting people in prison. That's you and me. If you're in Arizona, if you travel through Arizona, you are subject to these same rules and regulations. One of the propositions, I believe it's Proposition 313 on our ballot in Arizona, 
They're suggesting that anybody who is convicted of child sex trafficking go to jail for their life, for the rest of their life, that the judge will have no say over how long this individual goes to jail. The problem with that is the way we define child sex trafficking. What if you're driving down the street one day and you pick up a hitchhiker? It's not a good idea to do if you're 100 miles away from the border or less. But anyway, you pick up a hitchhiker around here and they're wearing a jacket and you put them in the back of your car and you drive and then woo, 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 border patrol or some uh, law enforcement agent in your rear view mirror wants you to stop the car and they come around and they say, what are you doing? You say, I just picked up a hitchhiker officer. What did I do wrong? I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. And they say, that's not a hitchhiker. That's a child prostitute. And you are now guilty of child sex trafficking and you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. It's unfortunately the way the law works. The law's not about justice. It's not about about fairness. It really does seem to be, at this time at least, really perpetrating its own power. It's not interested in making anything fair and fixing anything and healing anything. It just wants to see itself in control and in power and committing these falsehoods and these disgustings more and more. And it's like, a, blah, 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 I don't like this energy. Um, don't like the energy. I'm, I'll pull these. It's um, it's really all, it's giving off a dynamic too of like what they're saying about the music industry. I saw a tape that said that Sidney Poitier was only ever supposed to get like one movie, and he he became very famous and had a lot of was in a lot of movies. And the I think it was Jaguar Wright who suggested that Sidney Poitier gave Bill Cosby over to one of these producers to rape the young Bill Cosby. This is what I heard. Um, and then, of course, what we know about Bill Cosby is that he turned around and he started raping other people over time. He rapes, but he saves Dave Chappelle. Uh, and that that thing where was Poitier gave away Bill Cosby and then Bill Cosby turned around and became the abuser, um, it continues. Into, so it was like, you know, it touched on Michael Jackson. It touches on P. Diddy. And then if P. Diddy goes away, who's going to take P. Diddy's spot? Is it going to be Jay-Z or is it going to be 50 Cent? And who knows what the truth is behind the scenes. But there is this real effort here to hide the truth in order to perpetuate the injustice, perpetuate the unfairness. There's the toxic masculinity. And it is out of control completely out of balance and here you are like well I'm really healthy <laughs> is there something wrong with me <laughs> you're like I, I'm I'm in this place I'm exactly where I should be and um, is there something wrong with me <laughs> no there's nothing wrong with you and it's like you're coming around some sort of a bend where you get these eight swords and the three swords is 11 swords. What does that result in? It's the 10 of swords is completion leads up to the um, ace of swords. And where are you? The ace of swords. Wasn't that here? I was sure. Well, it leads to the ace of swords, which I'm pretty sure is out here still, but I'll, I'll, it'll, <laughs> it'll come out. It's the truth. It's the cutting free. It's the using this truth, standing on the truth in order to move forward. And it's not necessarily about displaying integrity. I hope this is not too confusing because you're dealing with somebody who is trying to be a tricky fox. If you're dealing with a tricky fox, don't just walk straight into their trap. You have to go around in circles so that you can get to where you want. They know that you know that they're a tricky fox, and this is disappointing to them. They're not going to stop being a tricky fox. Uh, they're not going to stop being a trip tricky fox, and they, they're like, I don't know, you viewer, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really disappointed that you see them as a liar or a, potentially a scumbag. You're dealing with somebody who you, like, you, I feel that you just have lost all respect for this person or this, in, this, this group, this individual, at this committee, these people, this organization, you've lost all respect. And it's it it makes them work with you. It makes them work with you. Because it's like you you have no respect for them, but you're gonna treat them with respect anyway. You don't like them, but you're not gonna treat them with 
ire. You're not going to treat them like viciously or violently. You're not going to bully these people. You're just not going to like them. You just keep it to yourself and you work with them anyway. And it brings them to this point where they're like, I, I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Let it go. Um, it, you're a real mensch. <laughs> and I feel like you're, you're dealing with somebody who's not. And they... They're really disappointed to know that you know that they are... There's all of these really strong terms when it comes through. Twisted up. Insane. If you're interested in a personal reading, you're more than welcome to send me an email. I do videos and also one-on-one -on -one online, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you're in Arizona, uh, I will come to Tucson. I'm in Tucson all the time and do a personal reading. Um, I'll come to your house if that's something that's comfortable for you. There's definitely, there's the shaman coming through. This is Hierophant energy, the Taurus energy, very, very strong here. This beautiful energy. Oh, new message, new message, love. I am the walrus, cuckoo, kachoo. <laughs> I am the walrus, cuckoo, kachoo. And then there's Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Okay, so that story, I it, it, I was thinking about the story about the song Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Maybe Hawaii coming through today. Hakuna Matata. Uh, yesterday and I was like well but Hakuna Matata comes up at the part in the movie when the little Lion King has been sort of exiled or he's exiled himself and he's like he's not been included his rightful place is to step up as king and um, Scar has taken control and when Scar takes control everything goes dark it's like Russia under Putin's rule 50 years later or however many you know wherever we are in the present um, that's the point in the story. It's really unfair. He shouldn't be exiled and he shouldn't be, it's not that he shouldn't be singing Hakuna Matata with Pumbaa, thank you, and the, the other one. They call me Pumbaa, right? He, the Lion King, he should be with them. That is his walk. It is his destiny. It makes a great movie, but it's also a sad part in the movie because the little Lion King should be the Lion King. He should be the big Lion King. I feel like that's your character at this point. And you're like, look, I'm, I give up. I give up. I'm, not, I'm the Lion King. They don't want me. Scar, Uncle Scar has taken over. Maybe some of you are dealing with family members. Look. Um, Uncle Scar has taken over and I'm just going to let it go. And he lays down in the dirt and he's like kind of going to die. And then the two little creatures find him and it's a really happy part of the movie. And it brings him to his love. Uh, if I had a little bit more space, then I would still have the two of cups right here in front of me. It brings him to his love. I, this is like your path right now. Um, he, he then he reunites. There's a union with Mathala, Mahala, Maya, Mahala. There's a reunion. They get back together, and she reminds him who he is. That he was like, Hakuna Matata, I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to go and live my life in the sun. We're going to party and have fun all the time. And then she's like, her, song, her name wants to come through. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's with an M. My readings and M, Merlin, Melchizedek, Mary, uh, there's lots and lots. Mom, these are all uh, very strong energies here. And maybe you lost your mother, so you should know that she's watching you from the other side of the veil and is one of the, your most powerful supporters. And that goes the same for any children that you may have lost. They are very, very powerful supporters of you. They watch over you from uh, the other side of the veil, and they're never going to let go. Mala? <laughs> oh, Obama's daughter. What's her name? Mala. I don't know. It's not Mala. Ma my. She reminds Simba of who he is, and he, because of her, because of the reuniting remembers his purpose and he goes on to honor his purpose even though it may be a lot more fun to be like 
Hakuna Matata means no worries for the rest of your days. The problem with that is that Uncle Scar is destroying. He's destroying the lions. He's destroying the nature. It's the, the rightful way of things is out of balance at the current moment. And so whatever's happening for you in your life at this time, it does seem that you have a purpose on this planet. And it's time for all of us to start honoring our purpose. And I know my own self... It came up in the comments. Somebody said something about the when my candle went out that they knew it's like the spells were no candle candle magic isn't working anymore or something like that. Um, first, whatever you believe that's really is going to end up coming true for you in your life it goes back to like the manifestation thing. But also, um, there's two things. You can't blow out my candle because I have a lot of lighters and I also, I know how to make fire with flint and there's fire inside of me where I can be like, <sighs> and get the candle lit. But also, um, the candle magic, it turns out spells, if it's not working, if you've done something, you've been trying to manifest something and it's not working, eh, you need to stop. <laughs> You're doing too much. It's probably that there's a, a backlog and spirit and, you know, the energies need a minute to process all of the requests that have already been made. So, like, I started making these candles and I make, well, I'll tell you the honest truth. I make money candles and all kinds of different candles and the money candles really, really work. And so I, like started lighting money candles because I was like, whoa, this shit works. I'm going to light these all the time. But then it actually slowed things down because I was lighting too many candles and, and it was too much focus in the one direction where I actually created a backlog. So it was like, no, everything stopped. It slowed down to a trickle. Okay, stop, slow down. It's, um, it's bringing to mind also like I have a water fountain and sometimes it gets a little bit clogged up. And so the thing for me to do is I stick my finger in the hole so that it creates this suction. And then when I remove my finger, it'll start to suck water stronger than it did before. It's like this idea that if you put a stop to something, it creates momentum, magnetism, it creates the sense of a pull. And then when you let it go again, it goes much, much, much faster. If you're in traffic and the person in front of you, you're in standstill traffic, back off of the car in front of you and everybody actually will go a lot faster versus if you go, ride them on their bumper, I promise everybody slows down. They've done all kinds of studies about it. So there's something here about perhaps there's been a backlog and maybe you stopped something, you put a stop to it, you stuck your finger in that hole in order to create the suction and now it's time for you to remove your finger from the hole and watch how quickly this thing goes through. This situation, it is out of whack. It is out of balance. I feel that you have been probably discriminated against. Maybe you've been harassed. You have been definitely treated unfairly. And there's like a whipping, thrashing feeling to it. They know that they treated you unfairly. I don't believe that the system is going to change. I don't believe that your actions at this time are going to change the whole larger system. However, what it is going to change is what is happening for you. You're going to get to some place that you need to get to so that you can then turn around and change the system. Do you know what it brings forward? And this is my last comment, is the, the movie, the series on Netflix about the Greeks, Chaos, Chaos with Jeff Goldblum, definitely go check it out because it's an interesting story and I feel like you may be standing in the main character's place right now. The young woman who uh, ends up in the middle zone. I don't want to give away too much of the plot because then, you know, you won't go and watch it, but you should go watch it and check out her story because some of her, something about her story very likely resonates with yours. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. Gold digger in the reverse. They want your money. Being used. Somebody's trying to use you. And that's the this clever fox who's not very clever. They're seriously obvious. They're like, okay, I see you. Plain as, plain as day. Uh, let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So that, I feel, is you. You stuck your hole in that. You stuck your thumb in that hole so that you could clear out the water. And what comes up? Water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe you are a water sign or dealing with one or just check your chart to see where this reading may ping you for this period manifest in the reverse. Tell the universe exactly what you want. And then, no, it's not the right time. And there's the bumblebee. 
radical changes and taking control. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay, so this is about what you want to remove from your life. You can tell the universe at this time what's not working, what you want to get rid of. Um, and you, I don't know, there's something here. Like sit down and describe what you're experiencing. And then it's coming across as this big solid substance. But that as soon as you start to describe it, you're going to see that it's not solid. It's fog. Caution. Find out more information and don't overwork yourself. Okay, so if there's something that... This situation is changing for sure at this time. Um, you're not going to be able to fix the injustice right now. It's just noting, noticing that there is an injustice. Love spell. You've been bewitched. Caution. Find out more information cycles fate karma something ending something beginning there's something that you're working on that you shouldn't actually be working on right now commitment honeymoon Honeymoon phase or attending someone's wedding. That I feel like that's very, very specific. Um, yeah, your person is breaking up. Your person is going through a breakup. It's not time for you guys to get together at this exact moment. Just be careful because probably your person is dealing with their ex and their ex does it could be very, very toxic individual. That's their problem. Your person, like whoever you are dealing with. I just get the sense that there's a man and a woman. It could be two men. It could be two women. Please take it how it resonates, okay? But I just get the sense that there's a man and a woman. And the, they, like, divorced. And the man got with somebody else. And then, and the woman is doing your thing. You're like, I, I actually feel like you probably went into business. You focused on your house, your home, yourself, you're like, you're good. You're on your own, you're independent, you're happy. And he went over here and he decided to get with somebody else. And that, and that was not stable, it was not fun, probably turned into World War III. And they're like, all right, we don't want to be together anymore. You might be thinking, oh, he's single, it's time for us to get back together. No, he is in toxicity. He needs to, he needs to get rid of this person, this person, whoever she is. She may be... It's the other person who's like, I, they're not, they're not in a good place. They're not a happy camper uh, right now. Yeah, they're not. They're. You're working with somebody, so that I don't know that story about the lovers and the love affairs. It is what it is. So just wait for your person to. Um, I feel like they're going to come back to you, so you shouldn't be approaching your person at this time. You need to give them a chance to heal up just a little bit. But there's this other energy, and, and I, there's this energy where there there's like the miser. You're dealing with this energy. You shouldn't be dealing with the energy. You probably feel bad for this person, and it's time for you to really put your foot down. And just no. Five of crystals in the reverse, strength, Leo, energy, and love, Gemini, energy, choice, trust. You're coming together with your person. It's not going to take a long time if you're waiting for them, but somebody is off in the margins, pissed, and trying to figure out how to get them back. <laughs> Maybe practicing some... Stupid dark magic. It's so dumb. I even read, I was reading in the Golden Dawn book of magic, something like that. Maybe I'll bring it out next time. So dumb. It, it's like a, a tenant, of, tenant of magic that you don't practice black magic. You don't practice dark magic. Um, what did they, he said that there's a, uh, somebody gave them the example of uh, practicing dark magic is like taking a hand grenade into a phone booth, calling up the person that you hate, and then when they answer the phone, you pull the trigger from the hand grenade. And you're like, I hate you. I'm going to curse you. Bang. And it blows up in your face. 
and whoever you called, they heard the blow up. <laughs> um, and they're probably not laughing because I don't know anybody who would laugh at finding out that someone blew themselves up. The clever fox in the reverse. Who are you dealing with? This is, ew. Sea turtle protection. B community and ladybug good luck. I don't even know how to summarize this. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna shoot it straight because it's coming through straight, so I'm gonna tell you, look. Don't practice black magic. If you're practicing black magic, you're not protected. You're gonna destroy yourself. You're gonna destroy everything that you're trying to benefit and help. It would seem that of the people who are watching this video, some of you are you work in the light, you work with the light, you're the, you know, you're all about the balance. It's the black and gold, right? It's the, the dancing in the sunshine and recognizing that that's going to create a really nice big shadow for you. Um, some of you are blessed creatures and you're trying to evolve and ascend. Others of you are not and you're trying to use these videos or this information in order to achieve something that you're really just not meant to achieve. So please do make sure that you're taking the um, taking the information as it really truly does resonate with you. Um, we all need to be careful about delusion, uh, delusions of grandeur and, and things like that. Uh, there, it's, there's someone out there, and I don't know who you are. You, you know who you are. <clears throat> you may think that you have manipulated I, okay, this is the, what's coming through. Like you feel that you've manipulated the spirits and your guides and your ancestors to, ancestors to take care of you and they're going to make sure that you get to keep some throne that does not belong to you. It's really not going to work because whoever you're working with truly is blessed. So some of you are truly, truly blessed. You're like this... Um, You're somebody's worst nightmare. I'm <laughs> sorry, but you're you are truly blessed and you're sunny and you're always prepared and you're supernatural and there's like wow, look at you. Somebody tries their they pretend. They pretend and they like stand in your shadow and pretend like they're standing in the light. I, I, it's a very um it's gnarly. It's gnarly. I don't like it. This person deals with a lot of upset and a lot of anger. And maybe you, once you did also, and maybe you have uh, suffered depression and suffered anger issues. But I feel like um, if you did, I feel that you're someone who's very powerful and you got yourself out of it in whatever way was necessary. You started taking anti-depression pills or you started meditating or you started reading whatever it was that you needed to read in order to change your own mind. You did what was necessary and this person wants to pretend that they're just like you uh, because they see you as somebody who is protected and blessed and they also think that you're really really clever and they feel that they need to um they need to try to be like you but that no amount of trying is going to change who you are no amount of trying will ever change your character and someone thinks that they've got the better of you the best, the best of you. Is someone getting the best of you? They're keeping secrets from you. Somebody is keeping secrets from you. They can see that you really don't care. And they hate that. They hate it. 
Um, and I, I feel like you don't care. You're just going to continue tweet, treating this person with grace. There's like this recognition that everybody deserves respect, even if you don't secretly, you don't respect them. Um, there's the Scorpio butterfly energy in the dog friend and then the hawk messenger so these are the spirits that are around you they're surrounding you and they're watching you i feel like at this time it's a lot less about relying on spiritual protection than it is about doing the things that you know you should do it's like demonstrating to all of your spirits and guides and ancestors that you did you learned the lesson um that you don't need the lesson one more time and uh, we can we can walk through, you know, we can move on to the next lesson. It's time. And um, don't be lighting too many candles. Don't be in too much of a hurry because you got a lot of blessings coming your way for gifts. That's the second six of pentacles coming out for today. So for a lot of you, there's like two, three, four, five free gifts coming to you today. It's really nice. Enjoy it. I hope that this was helpful. I will be back soon. Sending you love, light, ashe today and always.